Hi guys, Zach here with another Command & Conquer Red Alert video. This video is a casted game of a match taking place on a map called Seaton's Clutch. It's a 4v4 game and on the top team we've got Salt playing in the pink as allies. In the blue we've got Eldorath also playing as the allies. A bit further down we've got Orange who is Arthur and he is also playing as the allies. And then in the middle, we've got Jean Peru, who's playing as the Soviets in that middle team. So three allies and one Soviet player. Now, in the other team, who are on the bottom of the map, we've got Tyranated, who's in red playing as the allies. We've got the whole nine playing as the Soviets in the middle. We've got Eric, who's also playing as the Soviets, as Cyan. And the final team, which is at the back, is Mojo Matt, who's playing as as the purple so what we can see is this map has that like middle part of the map which is very like narrow so it's like a bit of a bottleneck with oceans either side and you can see there eric losing a lot of infantry and those red red green infantry pushing forward and he's lost quite a bit there as well a good idea is they can do loads of damage but they can get blown up quite easily also and a lot of them can die at once but we can see at the moment, uh, both teams, it's going to be a bit of a stalemate here. We can see the whole nine using some flamethrowers to defend the front of his base. But he's not going to probably need those at this point. And we can see both teams uh, building up a big bulk of infantry. Not so much for the bottom team, but they've like used flamethrowers to compensate for that. And we could also see Ty Ty Tyrant Red even uh, using some like uh, some of those transport ships just to uh, go around the map and he's obviously doing a bit of scouting looking at what his enemy is going to be doing i'm just having a look here we can see salt getting out some tanks and we can see the whole nine actually has built a submarine and um, so the whole nine not going for entire like entire tanks in that middle patch uh, which i think is what the other teams will be doing and you can see there red uh, blue spreading out his infantry uh, green's got a lot of infantry there but they can't push forward right at this minute because we can see we've got those flamethrowers uh, which are very effective against infantry uh, orange has also got a lot of infantry produced and we can see elder bringing, bringing some tanks down and also salt has some tanks in the middle there now we can see tyrant red bringing up those yeah, he's bringing up those destroyers and it looks like he's got more than Arthur playing as the orange at the moment. And we can see those those men coming forward and it looks like that Tesla coil's in trouble and the flamethrower's doing a lot of damage, but that Tesla coil looks like it's going to go down and not able to do too much damage. Now, I think that Tesla coil was in the incorrect place. I think it needed to be further back with the flamethrowers in front because... Uh, Tesla coils do have low HP, so if you do put them like at the front in the line of fire, they are going to go down pretty quickly. So I think that was a little bit of a mistake from Hall 9 there. And we can see that Tyrant Red now destroying those two destroyers, and it looks like those two are going to go down. And on the left side, we can see Salt Paid. Uh, he's got some destroyers also, and he's going to be able to defend from the submarines from the whole nine but now you can see eric coming in with those heavy tanks and we've got the fire from tyrant red as well from the destroyers uh, just to help there and mojo matt has also got some tanks and some infantry in and you can see now the whole nine putting up another tesla coil i still think it needs to be a little bit further back uh, behind those flame towers uh, but you can see it'll be able to get some shots in now. But you can see that, El that Elder has been able to take it out uh, with it being right at the front of the base. Uh, but they're going to be able to defend against this Elder's tanks getting taken out. And we can see Tyrant Red uh, still being able to get some good shots there. But we can see now that Salt Paid is pushing down. He's able to take out the submarines of the whole nine. And we can see... Orange, Arthur, he's trying to bring some destroyers into the mix. And we can see Salt there, he's got an extra MCV. So going for that multi-MCV strategy, we'll have to see where he places it. Does he go for the 
islands at the side or is he just going to place it in his own base but now we can see that Salt is able to get some uh, really push in on the left side of the map and I think this is a this is a mistake from the team at the bottom I think the, they've got two Soviet players and I think they needed a allied player at that left side to take control of that water because water control is just so important at this and now you can see Eric getting pushed back in the middle by Peru playing as a green and we can see there another Tesla coil coming up by the whole nine which is going to be able to fire on those uh, green tanks if they get a bit closer and we can see those green tanks from Peru and the blue tanks from Elder starting to build up in the middle of this map. So it might look like a tricky position for the bottom team at the moment, especially because Salt has that water control and you can see now him just raining down on the base and you can see a Tesla coil there but the power's out and he's not going to be able to use it and it's going to go down so that Tesla coil is going to be destroyed and you can see now Eric trying to repair some of his tanks with that service depot but uh, now the now that's the ore refinery going down as well. Salt's got the ore refinery, and that's going to be a big hit. Uh, it depends. Can the ho I think the whole nine will have funds to build another one, but that is a very, very big hit there. And you can see Salt just being able to do so much damage. But we can see Tyrant Red, and he's coming in. He's got some... Uh, transport ships and that's tanks coming in and there's more transport ships another two coming in and that's a bigger land attack here as we can see Peru pushing down and it looks like this is going to be the end of the whole nine and we can see his construction yard is being taken down but now we can see Tyrant Red taking out the information centre for Arthur and now he's going for the construction yard which looks like it's going to go down and now he's going for the economy so that's one ore refinery down and Arthur's only got one other ore refinery and if he manages to get that down that's going to be Ar Arthur like out the game sort of because he won't be able to build any more once they, they've been destroyed and once he runs out of ore. So now we have to see how much Tyrant Red damage can he do in their base. Now he's going for Peru's ore refineries. But we can see that Blue Elder is going for Tyrant Red's base and he's able to take out the construction yard. Now essentially, is he able to take out these ore refineries? He's got three in the base, Tyrant Red, but he's also got a lot of tanks to defend. And we can see uh, Elder going for the second ore refinery, but his tanks numbers uh, look like they're starting to run out. And we can see Tyrant Red still in the back of the base at the top and he's still doing quite a bit of damage, taking out some of Green's... Uh, or trucks and we can see I think Elder's going to run out of steam here because he's got some tanks but a lot of them are on red HP but now you can see Salt Paid coming on the left side of the map in with the cruisers and they do a lot of damage to buildings they also have a very long range and are effective against land units but you can see Tyron Red now trying to destroy uh, as much as Peru's base as he can he's got rid of one of those war factories which means Peru's going to have reduced building speed he's getting rid of another ore refinery but quite essentially Peru still has one ore refinery left and it doesn't look like Tyrant Red is going to be able to take that out in this attack uh, because he is losing tanks but you can see that ore refinery looks like it's almost down and he's taken out Brelda's tanks and Peru has managed to take it out with that one MiG so you can see that MiG doing a lot of damage and making itself worthwhile because Tyrant Red now has nothing left. But you can see Tyrant Red starting to bring out up those tanks. I think he's bringing everything for a final attack against this team. And you can see Eric in a bit of trouble there with those cruisers, with those destroyers from Salt Paid, uh, just decimating anything on the left side of that map but we can see Tyrant Red now taking out Salt's MCV so he won't be able to build a base at the bottom here and you can see Peru's tanks are getting taken out let's remember that Peru's building speed is going to be reduced for tanks because he lost that war factory that second war factory but you can see Elder now coming in with the tanks as well and this is going to make it a bit problematic for Tyrant Shred. Is he going to be able to get up? Is he going to be? And it looks like he's going to go for that war factory. And that's going to mean that Peru is no longer able to build any more tanks. And now he's going for the for the 
barracks and that barracks look like it's like, looks like it's going to go down and there's also a third barracks there is that going to go down and it does and that means that peru can no longer build any units he's still got those airfields um and he's and those are going to go down as well but we can see that salt paid coming in and salt paid has got a good number of tanks and tyrant red is out of the game you can see a few of those uh paratroopers from green have managed to take out the remaining tyrant red buildings and eric is also out of the game and it looks like mojo matt is on his own against salt paid and three of the other teams although two of them are like sort of out green and orange they've just got a few remaining units and buildings and you can see mojo map trying to take control of the water but it's going to be uh, not able to do that because you can see salt paid or already has an established navy i think the big mistake as i said earlier on this game i think it was that left side of the map they didn't have that uh, allied play that they needed at the front and I think where Mojo Matt and Eric should have been swapped round, Eric could have been at the back making tanks and helping in the middle, and then Mojo Matt could have been uh, trying to take control of the water against Salt. And I think it was just because they didn't have any water control whatsoever, and that was quite apparent near the start, and I think that's what cost it. Uh, possibly cost them the game there, although Tyrant Red doing that great land attack uh, in the middle of that game. I think also the whole nine could have placed those Tesla coils a bit better, had them a bit further back, and if they'd had water control, it might have been a bit different. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.